Uh, we're going to do the uh, lab for seven, and we're going to start with the bones. And so if we look at the list, we have the carpals, and we remember the mnemonic for the carpals. Some lovers try positions that they can't handle. So some is scaphoid, lovers is lunate, tri is triquetral, positions is pisiform. Then it goes trapezium, trapezoid. They're in alphabetic order. And then we have <laughs> capitate and hammy. Now, on the uh, triquetral, there are three that start with T, and a triquetral is the third bone in the proximal row. So some lovers try triquetral. And then the other two T's are alphabetical, trapez uh, trapezium and trapezoid. So that should help you there. Okay, next we're going to do the humerus. And so we'll start with the side on the humerus. And the way we can tell is it's shaped a little bit like your hand. So your hand will curve anteriorly, and so does the humerus. If you put it in your hand like that, we see that the medial epicondyle is going to be medial, obviously. And the head of the humerus up here is going to go to the uh, glenoid cavity of the scat. Of the scat Scapula. There we go. So this is going to be medial, and down here this is medial, and this is anterior, so this has to be a left humerus. Okay, so we have the head of the humerus, and we have the bicipital groove. Bicipital groove right here, okay, in between the tubercles. We have the capitulum. Capitulum is going to articulate with the head of the radius. The radius is lateral. And so that's the capitulum right there. Capitulum means little head. So it goes little head to head. Deltoid tuberosity is kind of a raised large area here, almost in the middle of the, the humerus. We have the greater tubercle right here, and a lesser tubercle on just the other side of the bicipital groove. By the way, the bicipital groove is sometimes called the intertubercular groove. And that's where one of the tendons for the biceps brachii runs. Then we have the lateral epicondyle. Lateral epicondyle is going to be lateral. Medial epicondyle, I already showed you. Medial epicondyle is over here. We're going to see that the flexor muscles in the anterior compartment of the forearm are attached to the medial epicondyle, and the extensor muscles in the posterior compartment of the forearm are attached to the lateral epicondyle. We uh, already did the lesser tubercle. We've got the medial epicondyle I did. Olecranon fossa is on the posterior side depression in here, uh, where the olecranon process of the ulna uh, goes. We have the supracondyloid foramen. That's going to be in a cat only. So you don't have a cat's uh, humerus here. I can show you that in the next one. And then the trochlea. So the trochlea is right here. Trochlea goes to the trochlear notch of the ulna. Now the trochlea can sometimes be called a medial condyle and the capitulum is sometimes called the lateral condyle. But I would go with capitulum because then it's little head to head, and trochlea because it's trochlea to trochlear notch. Okay.